Alright guys, welcome to another video, King of Fish. We're doing a sea session on this one, me and my brother. Uh, we're down at Sheerness Barton's Point on this one. We've heard there's a few rays around, so we're going to try for a few of those. Anything really. So I'm going to have uh, one rod out on a, on a live bait, and the other rod I'm going to out on a full squid with pulley droppers. So yeah, let's see how we get on. Stay tuned for this one. Rods are out, mine and my brothers. Alright everyone, it's me again Ash. Yeah, Ash is one with the camera. Um, this is a pulley dropper rig, but I've made it into a live bait rig. I'm just going to put a strip of squid on the smallest hook, which is on the end. What I'm going to do is put a strip of squid here. Put a little bit of elastic. First thing to do is drop it. One, two, snap. What I do is I always make a loop and I tuck it under twice. So yeah, this this is going to go out, and this sits behind it. This chinoo hook. Which is a 4 0, no, 5 0, I think that one is. And that is just literally going to sit behind it like this. And then what I'm hoping for is a whiting to take this hook and then the white and the BO out there still on the hook attached. And if a, if a bass or a codling comes along, anything, anything big, and wants to take that whiting, then that hook there is waiting for him. It, the, good, good, the good thing about this is that um, it saves saves your bait. Um, we did bring a lot of bait with us today, we've only got some squid which is in there. Um, I'll buy one of those, I'll buy the big five pound blocks now and break them all up and separate them. And so I've got that one full of squid in there and I've got um, some bluey as well, a little bit of bluey. So I've heard there's some rays about and that's what we're here for hopefully if we get one. Yeah. Um, or a codlin. Or a ray on the odd like codlin. Probably no probably won't get no collet, but you never know, you've got to be in it to win it. So, stay tuned for this one. And it gets us out. Yeah. First cast, double whammy. Brilliant, bruv. Tangled your rig up a bit. Yeah, yeah. That's what White and do, did not they? They love it. They love tangling up them rigs. That's that, um, what rig have you got on there? Uh, what was it? Pulley panel, wasn't it? No, it looks like a clip pattern oster to me, that one. Pattern oster, was it? Yeah. Well done, bruv. Looks like we're going to be in for loads of these tonight. Hopefully not. Well. At least, you know, this ain't a blank. Well, that's it. So we get these off and then release these up back in. So here we are, guys. The rods are out. I don't know what you can see here. But, yeah. They're out, he's getting bites already, my brother, on the left down rod. Um, he's using my rod tonight with his own reel. His little uh, 7000 Nabu. And I've got my pen 525 on my rod as standard. But yeah, we're getting bites already, aren't we, brother? Oh, yeah. You've had a double will. shot of whiting already, ain't you? It's like instant as soon as you like I've got my um, other rod here, my um, Continental Leader Icon fixed ball rod with the live bait on it, on that one. We're just here for a few hours, see what it's about really. So stay tuned. Oh, bruv, that was a lovely bite. Your left, that left hand rod, Ash, not kidding, mate. That slammed down. I haven't seen them rods do that for a while, unless it's something decent. Do you mind getting up and getting it for him? Yeah, I will do in a minute, I will do. That was a good bite. A bit like a bass bite, really, how that was. That was... That was an aggressive bite. If it does it again, I'm going to grab it. Right, stay tuned. Speak to you soon. We are 
I'm just putting on a squid, whole squid, a pair of free hooks. He's not had anything yet. <coughs> no. <laughs> I still do it the old fashioned way. Uh, I know there's like uh, tools now you can use for binding, binding up baits. But I still do it like this. Yep, this is going to be going out. What I do is, guys, I'll show you what I do with my elastic all the time. I go round my finger once, push it through, round again, push it through, pull and snap away. That will stop the elastic from unraveling. Plenty of hook points showing there. Bring the um, panel down about there. One, two, three. And then I just go behind it like that, straight out, grab the hook, pull the line. And there we go. That is a lovely boat that's going to go out. Let's see what happens. Right guys, I've just brought the live bait rig in because I've had to move the rod because it's drifting a little. But look, this white end took that hook like that. So, this is what I mean with this rig. This is now exposed to a bigger fish. And that's a perfect live bait. So, I wish I left that out there now. But I had to move it because it's drifting. I'm going to put heavier weight on. But yeah, let's get it back out. I'm getting bites on the left hand rod at the moment. I thought I'd try and get it on camera. It's always the way when you want it to go. It won't. Oh, and the right hand was going as well. Alright, Jamie. This is for like the funny face. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> King of the fish! You know the one. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button. Bing! Alright guys, this is how I prepare Bluey. This is going to go out for a wraith. Head off, tail off. Nice bit of bluey. Look at that blood. Ooh, oh, no. no, no, thank you. Right, there we go. So you cut it in half. Two lovely bits of bluey. What you do is, what I do is, go in the middle. There we go. We've got one. And you could make this another bait. Let's go down again. It's a bit defrosted, should have left it a little bit frozen. It's better when it's frozen. But there we go, we've got one. That one I'll bind on with a bit of squid. Two. And then again I'll go down the middle. bit defrosted but there we go another one there so we've got three there one there that, that one will go on with a squid it's a bit thinner and I'll put that one out as well I could cut that again if I want to but I'm gonna make a big one for this one so there we are guys five bits of bait out of one bit of bluey and that's just how I do it oh hello Tango.
think that he's on. Not sure yet on what he's got. It's not going to be what we're after. No, is it a whiting? It's a little whiting. So we're getting down here tonight, guys. But you never know. Straight through the eye on that one. Oh. Ouch. <coughs> oh, that's painful. I wonder what spec savers would do about that. <laughs> Bluey. Just put that straight on and it's going out right right now. Retrieving it now. You got a big one on, bro. Nah, no, I don't think there's anything on here. If I have, it's saying small. Let's go down and have a look. Get it bait up and get it back out there. My brother just had a slam down bite. You feel nice? Yeah. Oh yeah. That did go well. Go on, bro. You're nearly there, you're just here, you're just here. Here it comes. Yeah, you've got something. Oh, you got a ray, bruv! Yeah, you got one. Nice one. Target species. Nice one, bruv. You got a small little ray. That one bluey, that one. Yeah, bluey. Yeah. See, yeah. yeah. Nice one. Well done. Not a big one. No. That was a good slam down bite, that. That was exciting to see that. Well done. Well done. It's only a small ray, but yeah, it is. target species, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's what we you know, come for, isn't it? A yeah. ray Let's see how or a codling. Yep. So it's not bad, that's number one, in a way. Flip it over, let's have a look. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's looks well, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. We'll unhook this. And get it back, get some photos of it first, and some more, some more of it on film. Well done, bruv. Well done. Here we are. My brother's just had this ray. We've not weighed it yet. Stunning ray. Lovely markings on it. Get a sea weed there. I'd say about five, six pound. Should we get it weighed and find out? It's dropping. If I get in this box here, show some scales. So here we are, guys. Here's his ray. It's four nice pounds. Ray, four pounds, yeah. On the turn of the tide. A balance point. Really? Would you have it on, bro? First one of the night. Bluey. Just a bluey rack. Cracking ray. Look at them eyes. One of the target species that we come for. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Do you want to return it and... Bleed him a bit. We did gut, gut hook at the uh, hook. Turn around, fella. The other way. Mate. The other way. Give him a little... Camera wet. Yeah, he's turning. 
No. Let him just revive there for a bit. Just keep an eye on him. Here we go. Here we go. He's starting to spin. No. Here we go. There we go. I'm not sure guys, but we think that he might have one as well. Straight oh, after the one that back. I caught. We noticed that his line was really slack. Well, I didn't it took cast. him to the right. Yeah. I don't think he's on. No? No, I should have uh, longer. Oh, I don't know. There could be something there, but. I don't, I don't think so. Might have something on though. We've got a white. Yeah. Well, false alarm. And this is what white do to your rig. Look at that mess. I've got to sort that out now. Lovely. Guys, I'm coming to the end Beat me. of the session now, and I have had it the rain. It ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. It's, no, it's not over yet. What time is it anyway? Still got, I don't know, like a little while left, haven't we? But we're coming to the end. These fish gods. Right, guys, it brings us up to the end of the episode. You know, I was the winner. You know, I had a Ray you with know, Jason, you know, and he had that like, white in, wasn't it, Jay? Yeah, rub it in, bruv. <laughs> but, but he uh, did well, mate. I'm pleased for you. Yeah, so if you would, I want to like and, like and subscribe, that'd be great. It helps us out of my channel. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.